here in the valley, for years and years, rats and mice, especially rats, were just practically not a problem. Uh, I've been here for 45 years, and kind of like mosquitoes, we never had mosquitoes here. We didn't have rats here. Occasionally, if you're on the outskirts, you might have a pack rat situation, but for the most part, rats were not much of an issue for anybody here uh, in the Phoenix metropolitan area. And that's changed. They got brought in from heaven knows where or when. Uh, the biggest uh, change, I guess, was in the Arcadia uh, district where pack rats, or excuse me, um, roof rats were originally found. Um, roof rats definitely were not a native, or not a native to this, to the southwest. Certainly not here to the Phoenix metropolitan area. So they were found, and they were found there. They they enjoy the citrus. There's lots of citrus trees through that area, and so um, most people heard it on the news back then, in particular, because a big push for people that have citrus trees to keep it picked up. Uh, uh, so that you're not going to attract the roof rats into your yard. And certainly that's, that's an important thing. So the biggest issue we have with rodents uh, is sanitation. They are not clean creatures. They walk wherever they walk, places where you and I wouldn't. They step in whatever they step in and with no regard. And so whatever they've picked up on their body, on their feet, anywhere in their skin, they're going to track in. If they come into your house, this can be tracked in. If you have personal contact with them, then heaven knows. Um, certain parts of the state, certainly not necessarily here in the valley, but hantavirus is something that everyone's heard of. Uh, but there are plenty of other things that any rodent could have and have been in contact with that can be transmitted to people. So sanitation is one of the biggest reasons to try and do something about them to get them out of your environment. Another problem that we can have with rodents is damage. They will gnaw constantly on anything. Their, their front teeth uh, grow constantly, and so part of that gnawing behavior is actually to keep those teeth worn down so they don't get too, too big for them. So they gnaw on, on things just to gnaw, just to get the teeth worn down so they don't get too big for them. So they get up under a car hood, they can get into your wiring and do a tremendous amount of damage to the wiring in your car. They can do the same thing in your attic, eat the sheathing off of wiring. You can get uh, a short circuit can occur and you can have a fire. So there are many things that they can damage and anything that gets in their path that um, they want to sample, they'll, they'll just start nibbling on it and um, see if it's something they like or it just happens to be some, you know, a time when they want to gnaw on something for their comfort, and if that happens to be your baseboard or something else, a piece of furniture in your house, then that's just the way it goes. And whether it be rats or mice, uh, it's also important to be as proactive as you can and not waste a lot of time because they multiply very rapidly. They can have large litters, they can have frequent litters, and you can go from one or two rats to dozens of rats in a relatively short period of time. If you let it go for a year, you'll be overwhelmed uh, in, in any residential situation. So don't waste your time. If you've got them, call somebody.